Today on Trisha, she used her best friend to catch her fiancé cheating. She asked me to follow him. Was he a little too eager to take the bait? She took research too far. But I gotta sleep with him before I get mine on a regular basis, trust me. There is evidence of sex all over the house. Use condoms so that in your have... bed, in my bed. I let my friend yeah. also, also, let your also, friend. also, let also. Let the lie detector could end a lifelong friendship. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. No. discovered him talking to strange women on gaming websites. He's sending naked photos of himself to these other women. She suspects they're trading a lot more than strategy. You gave an STD. It was when I was pregnant with my daughter. <laughs> Is he playing a little too nice with others? Have you ever met up with a woman you met on the gaming site? The polygraph determined that Larry... <laughs> His naughtiness has made them nomadic. Why have you moved so many times? I don't want to be around a woman that's having sex with my husband. Every time she suspects he's cheating, they move to a new town. How many times have you moved? Uh, I hope the last 12 years, like 15, 16 times. If you are having sex and doing the other stuff that you don't need to be doing, then we'll have Look, money. We'll have always, what we need. So don't act like you I'm sitting you can it. Is paranoia paying the movers? If this lie detector test come back that he is lying, he moving the 16th time by himself. Whoa! Today on Trisha. Okay, this is Ray Ray. She's here today because she's convinced her fiance DJ is cheating on her. And instead of planning their dream wedding, she's been busy conducting her own private investigation. Yeah. In fact, she enlisted the help of her best friend, Marissa, to catch DJ red-handed. Yeah. But now Ray Ray fears Marissa has taken her duties too far oh. and suspects they're both betraying her by having a secret affair. Watch this. When I was 13, I fell in love with my fiancé, DJ. I thought I found a perfect relationship. But as time went on, the men that I fell in love with completely changed. So I turned to my best friend of 10 years, Marissa, to help me get to the bottom of it. So she went undercover and became my private investigator. And the first day she followed him, she found him with another woman. And I felt like after that incident, DJ and Marissa came best of friends. She took research too far. There's not a doubt in my mind that they are sleeping together. Marissa isn't the only one I think DJ's cheating with. I found a used condom in our toilet, like he was trying to get rid of the evidence. DJ denies everything. He says, I'm delusional, I'm crazy. Marissa's blaming me for our friendship falling apart, but the truth is, I just want answers. Yeah. Well, guess what? We wanted to help Ray Ray uncover the truth, so we've given DJ a lie detector test. And well, yeah. We'll get those results later on in the show, but first, Ray Ray. What made you think that DJ was cheating on you? What made you suspicious? Every call he get, yeah. he take it and he go in the next room. Tell me about Marissa. You and her, you, they go, you go yeah, way back. Yeah, we've been friends for 10 years. So you got her to be your private investigator? Yes, I did. But what had happened was I was going, I was looking in my house right. one day, looking through his stuff. She calls me up. Oh, girl, he just went into another female house. So you know what I did? I took my car and I went over there. Wow. I didn't see nothing. I didn't catch nothing. All I seen was the back of him. But I oh. know he's cheating because my friend ain't gonna lie to me. So you only saw the back of him, okay? I only seen the back now, of him. Why is it that you think that DJ and this girlfriend of yours that's more like a sister, why do you think Listen, there's Trisha, something going on between the two They do too them? much. Let me tell you something. If me and him is going through something, yeah. you're supposed to bag back. Play your position. Okay. Now, do you think DJ is cheating with other women? I or surely just do. Well, what, surely let's, go do. Through, let's go through the evidence. You mentioned about the phone, and you said on the piece of tape we saw there something about condoms. You found yeah. what you used condoms? Condoms, used condoms. One day I'm cleaning my house, and I just happened to sweep under the dresser. It's a condom. Not only is it a condom, the rapper was there with it. He tells me, oh, I had my man over here, and his girlfriend came over. He brought a loop over so that in your bed. Have... In my bed. So is it cool for me to bring my female friends and they men to the house so that they can have sex in the bed? Oh, oh man! You, you also found a condom.
condom, he tried to flush in away. In the toilet. I thought it was just a little wrapper. I pick it up with my tweezers. It's a condom. So, and I asked him about it. Oh, that was my man. He was in here um, having, having sex with one of his girls. He found a pair of panties in, in the... his car. Let me tell you this. Where? Trisha, listen, Ooh. listen. Two stories. Two. Oh, two. Two stories. Okay. The first one. Oh, I just, I just keep these so I can have your scent. Oh. My scent? Wait a minute, I don't wear a size zero, baby. And then he like, oh no, that was from my my homeboy. His girl was in the car and they was having sex. Why is they having sex in our car? Oh, well, they that got... I pay their insurance So for. hold on, so you ain't got... His, his friends and their girls are having sex in your bedroom, in your downstairs bathroom, in, in your bathroom, car, bedroom, everywhere. In the car, everywhere. So where else is y'all having sex? <laughs> now... Why do you think that he's paying for sex? Because he don't got no money to show for nothing. I mean, rent. It's I got a rent bill. I got our G and E bill. I got a water Who pays bill. All I got. That? I do. I didn't gave. I gave. Let me tell you something, Trisha. I gave DJ two G's, and he don't got nothing to show for. So it. hang on, isn't he working? That's what he say. What job does he say he's doing? He say he got a mechanic job. If you got a mechanic job, why you ain't fixed my car yet? <laughs> Have you been to his work? He won't even let me go to his job, Trisha. You've never been to where he works? No, he won't. The first job that he had, I was there. I used to be like, DJ, um, babe, you want something to eat? I'm gonna bring it to you. Oh, cool, find it, Danny. I'll bring it to him. But soon as now he got this other little job... As a mechanic. As a mechanic. He won't let me come to it at all. He won't even let me show up. Oh, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I don't need nothing. Do, do you think he's lying? Yeah, I know he's lying, he's a liar. If the lie detector comes back and says that he's been lying and he has been messing around behind your back, what then? Uh, he can beat his feet. Cause let me tell you, life is too short for to be going through the book. I ain't got time for that. Is he living with you right now? No, he living with his dad. Why? Because I kicked him out, I'm tired of him lying. Well, Ray Ray is desperate for answers, but before the results, I want to hear how Marissa feels about being accused of sleeping with her best friend's fiance. So, Marissa, come on out. <laughs> let me let you know Ooh. something right quick. Let me put you on the first one. Let's talk to Marissa. Marissa, you two have been friends for a long time. She, uh, what did she ask you to do? She asked me, she called me. Mm. Well, actually, I called her, mm. and I told her I was on my way to her house. Right. And by the time I got to her house, he was already pulling off. So she calls my phone back, and yeah, she's like, he was okay, okay, I'm talking, thank you. Oh. Girl, please, let me hear, let me hear her side. So, she asked me to follow him. So what did you see? When I got, when I, when he cut that corner and he went up five blocks, he was walking into a female's house. Did you see the female come out? I see the female at the door. They gave each other a kiss and then they walked inside. So I called Ray Ray and I told her, yo, you need to come around the block and see what your man is up to. So how do you feel that she's now saying that you two are too cozy? Is it true you hang out in the club together? We went out maybe once or twice, maybe, if that, but that's my friend as well as it is her, as well as it is her so man. Let me ask you, do you think that DJ is cheating on her with other absolutely, women? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. But he's still you, my if friend. You believe that but he's, he's still having, my friend. If you believe that he's but having still sex with other women, sweetie, then why are you hanging around him? Because that's my man at the end of the day. Okay, okay, okay. 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 That, that may be the case. case. If I that may be the case. case goes but to hang on, hang on. I introduced y'all because he was my friend after, no, before y'all even got together. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, Marissa. So you're saying you introduced your best friend to someone you call a dog? I, honestly, I wasn't expecting anything to happen. Do you think they should even be together? Honestly, no. She deserves better than Do you want him? Because she wants him. Come on, she wants her. Come on, Trisha. That's why, no. she wants her. No. Are you in a relationship? No. That's yes. why I think we shouldn't be together. I, 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 she I, I'm wanna. happily Trisha, she going on my seventh she year of being in a relationship. She happily going on my seventh year in a relationship. Which relationship, honey? Because I haven't seen you with a man in a while now. Oh. Really? Really? Oh. Really? In a while really? now. And you tell so, me everything. You ain't telling me about that mysterious man. That's because, you because of me. your actions.
actions and your because accusations, of my actions, I have I, nothing I to have say to you. I have absolutely nothing to say to you. I'm sleeping with my men. What I gotta sleep with him for? I get mine on a regular basis. Trust me. Whatever. Okay, let us take a break. We have to take a break, but next we'll finally get to meet DJ. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the alleged heartbreaker who's tearing these best friends apart. So stay with us. Up next, the condom in the other bathroom. That was in the toilet. It had to be another one of my homeboys. How you sound? How you sound? How you sound? Coming up, she discovered him talking to strange women on gaming websites. He's sending naked photos of himself to these other women. And later. Why have you moved so many times? 15 times? I don't want to be around a woman that's having sex with my husband. Oh! Secret sex lies. He gave you an ST. Okay. okay. Today on Trisha. Okay, time to be I guess. Welcome back. While you have been having a commercial break, uh, these two are still at it. Uh, we've been talking to Ray Ray and her best friend Marissa, who, as you can hear, are at war. You see, after finding evidence in her toilet, Ray Ray was convinced her fiance DJ was cheating, so she turned Marissa into her own private eye to spy on DJ. But Ray Ray says her plans backfired when she began to suspect Marissa and DJ were hooking up with each other. So it is time we hear how DJ feels about these Can accusations. I move this? What? Can I move this chair? I don't want him next to me. You don't want him next to you? Not at all. I got to hear what this guy's got to say. Good luck to him. Please welcome DJ. DJ. How you doing, Tristan? So, DJ, let's go through a few things. Are you cheating on Ray Ray? Oh, yes. no. Oh, no. Yes. This is my baby. This is my love. My future wife and hopefully the future mother of my babies. Excuse me if I take a, a pause to vomit. Uh, <laughs> Just a minute. Ray Ray, Ray Ray. Ray Ray, Ray Ray, I want to go through a few things because I want to hear DJ's. I'm dying to hear DJ's point of view. Okay, so I don't know if you knew, but Marissa followed you and she said she followed you to a house and she saw a woman come to the door and you hugged her. What was that about? I don't even know what that is about. I don't even, I know the female that they're talking about. I don't even know what they're talking about on some real. What, were you, you, you were there? You know the female that we talking about. Anyways, she anyways. Hang on. How do you know this female then? Well, I've, I've heard through the grapevine, you know what I'm saying? They, they're trying to put Oops. a face, they're trying to put a face to this whole story. So it wasn't you? No. So let's talk about the condom she found under the dresser. My friends... Under our dresser? My, yes. Just a minute. Yes. Yes. yes, my friends use our place just like... Just like back when I was single, yeah. back when I was single, I, my friends used to let me use their place, shack up, do whatever I want, and then when so, I'm done... So, so yeah. hang on, where was Ray Ray? Ray? Ray's at work. Oh, so hang on, just a minute, just a minute. So it's, you said our place, so did you ask Ray Ray if that was okay? No, no, I, admit, I admit that I was wrong for that, okay. I admit. So can I bring, so this, here's my question, can I bring a man to our house and let him have sex with a female? <laughs> I've got more questions for DJ. DJ, the condom in the other bathroom. That was in the toilet. It had to be another one of my He's homeboys. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Honestly, honestly, yeah. 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 it had to be another one of my okay. homeboys. So now your homeboys. It had to be hang on, just a minute, your just a minute, homeboys, right? On, your you know, you know home... how we used to give it up. What happened with the car? The panties in the car? Again, tell me that. What well, happened? I, I let my friend. Yeah. Also, 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 he's my family member. My.
Family member, yeah. I let him use my car. Right. No problem, he fills my car up with gas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he want to do. Like I said, back when He's I was single. Not filling your... Excuse well, me. Then why the I'm gas talking. always Excuse low? Me. I'm talking. I do... I'm talking. Did you know? Back... Why you ain't never got no just money? Just why the gas back, always back low? Back when I was single, yeah. I, my friends just let me do the same. Yeah, I back hit. When um, was so I so just with, can with I me ask... having a wife, why would that make why Hang would on, that make any difference? Can I ask you something else then? Why did you have a friend? Just a minute. You have a friend because that's how you treat me. You treat me like a friend. Really? Like a friend. That's friend. A and friend. let me ask you about why you initially said that the panties in the car were just a little momentum that you could smell like perfume from time to time. Because he ain't know what to say. Because he ain't know what to say. I've never said that. So now you're calling me a liar? So now you're calling me a liar? You said it. You said this is exactly my quote unquote. Oh, I keep these panties so I can smell your scent. What scent you smelling? Your other female? I never you said that. You keep her panties so you can smell that. her scent, yeah. right? No, no. No, okay. You, I, so. if that's the case, I'll smell you You're lying then. because I know you're lying. I know when you're lying. You're lying right now. I'm, I'm you here for you. You were lying to you. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. DJ, DJ. No, Another you question. Hang on, I have I'm some more questions you. for DJ. I have some more questions for DJ. DJ, how come you never have any money? What do you do for a living? Well, I, I work with True. kids and I, I'm a mechanic. You're a mechanic? Yes, sir. So where, where do you work exactly? Is it a garage or...? It's a garage. It's he works at a whole house. That's where he works. He works at a whole house. It's a garage. He works at a whole house. That's where he works at. He works at a whole house. He got too many conversations I've been friends with this girl for 10 years and not one time that she has been in a relationship with any man or living with any man, has she let no, any female and another man come in her house and have sex everywhere? That's just not what you do. You know That's just not what you do. Okay. That's nasty. Ray Ray, you've waited long enough for the truth. So I want everyone to welcome Tim Acosta, our polygraph examiner and private investigator to the show. Come on out, Tim. DJ's lie detector results. DJ, we asked you during your relationship with Ray Ray, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? Coming up, during your relationship with Ray Ray, have you had sexual intercourse with Marissa? You said no. Tim? <laughs> up next, she discovered him talking to strange women on gaming websites. He's sending naked photos of himself to these other women. She suspects they're trading a lot more than strategy. I understand he gave you an STD. It was when I was pregnant with my daughter. <laughs> and later. Why have you moved so many times? 15 times? I don't want to be around a woman that's having sex with my husband. <laughs> Lies. He gave you an STD. Okay. Today on Trisha. <laughs> okay, let's let's welcome Erin. She's a bit upset because Erin fears that today her marriage will come to an abrupt end. You see, here's what happened. She discovered her husband Larry talking to strange women on gaming websites. And that is not the only side of infidelity. Erin says he's secretive with his phone. He sleeps in a separate bed, and even worse, he gave her an STD. <laughs> now, Larry swears he has never cheated, and those women on the website, they're only helping him with his gaming skills. Erin's not buying it, so let's listen to her story. When I met my husband, Larry, we were a team. I care about him more than anything in the world, and he knows that. I give 110%. My biggest fear is that he wants out of this marriage and he doesn't want to have his family anymore. I found text messages, phone numbers, and I even suspect that he's sending naked photos of himself to these other women. And the worst part is, is that we don't have sex, he won't touch me, and we don't even sleep in the same bed together. Larry's even come home. I found that his private parts have smelled like women's lotion and perfume. I can't take this anymore after all that we've been through. Erin, okay, you've been married, what, five years? For five years. When did you start thinking that Larry was cheating on you? Just within the last couple years. He's just been very distant. You're not sleeping in the same bed? No. Whose idea was that? 
it was mine because I just... He's supposed to be my best friend. He's OK, OK. What are the signs you think you're seeing that he's true? He's supposedly sent picture messages, naked photos of himself. How do you know this? How do you know it's I've him? gotten the information from other females saying that they like what they see. I understand he gave you an STD. It was that when right? I was pregnant with my daughter. Oh. Oh. So why are you still with him? He, I, I would do anything for him. But what happens if it comes back and you find out that he has been messing around behind your back? What are you going to do? Well, it has to, it has to end. We have to go our separate ways. I have to put my kids first and do for them and not for myself. I'm very interested in hearing how Larry will explain this gaming system to me. So, Larry, come on out. STD is sexually Yeah, you tell me. I, I, we'll both know. Because I've never had an STD. Do you want out of the relationship? No. I, I love my wife. Okay. I love her. Well, Erin, you came here for the truth, so I think it's time we give you the answers that you're looking for. So sitting in our audience is Tim Acosta, our private investigator. <laughs> so, Tim. It is time for Tim. Larry, we asked you... Did you give Erin an STD? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Larry was being truthful. Oh. So, um, can I just ask before we go, was it, was it chlamydia? Yes, ma'am. Sometimes with those things, it could have been before. You could have picked it up before. It would have bloomed. It might have come back again. It's something often that's reoccurring. So it could have been before. We asked you, during your relationship with Erin, have you ever met up with a woman you met on the gaming sites? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Larry was being truthful. <laughs> we asked you. We asked you. With Erin, have you had any type of sexual contact with any other woman? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Larry was being truthful. Yeah. Oh my god, I love you, babe. I'm sorry. That. Coming up. His naughtiness has made them nomadic. Why have you moved so many times? 15 times? I don't want to be around a woman that's having sex with my husband. Oh! And later, the lie detector could end a lifelong friendship. I'm a liar! Secret sex lies. He gave you an ST. Okay. Today on Trisha. Okay, take a look at this picture-perfect couple. That's Jerrica and her husband, Cedric. Now, in the 12 years they've been together, they have moved over 15 times. 15. Because whenever Jerrica suspects Cedric is cheating, her solution is to pack up and relocate them to a new town. Now, unfortunately, Jerrica suspects Cedric keeps finding new neighbours to cheat with. Now, I've got to tell you this, Cedric denies it and says the moving expenses are sending him to the poorhouse. Yes. Listen to his story. My wife, Jerick, and I have been together for 12 years. She's a good woman, a great mother to our kids. I love Jerrica so much, I admitted to Jerrica that I had cheated in the past because I wanted our marriage to have a clean slate. I don't think she ever forgave me because she constantly accused me every single day. Because of her suspicions, we moved over 15 times in the last 12 years. I'm exhausted. I don't even know what to do anymore. She claimed that she found a piece of a woman's thong in my car. To me, it didn't even look like a piece of thong. It could have been a piece of a shirt, a piece of a pants, or anything. This one time I came home from work, Jerrica started checking me as soon as I got in the door and claimed that she found a piece of woman hair in my man area. These accusations are tearing my marriage apart. I really love Jerrica. I want to be there with her and finish raising our kids. But if she can't stop, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, guess what? We've given Cedric a lie detector test, and we will have those results in a moment. But first, Jerrica, 
Why have you moved so many times? 15 times? I don't want to be around a woman that's having sex with my husband. Each time you move because you find out or you suspect that Cedric is, what, having sex with one of your neighbours? Right. Because wow. for the simple fact, I don't think that I'm enough for him anymore. Now, you found what you, you thought was a thong or something? It was a thong. Come on, I wear thongs. Women, don't we wear thongs? <laughs> and where was this? This... What? Where did you find it? In his car. And when you asked him about it, what did he say? He said that it was his homeboys. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> now, has he ever come home with scratches or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, he, he came home with scratches. I'm going to tell you about that. We, we husband and wife. So yeah. I walks in on him all the time when he's in the restroom. And he was showering, and I seen it was kind of ripped up. And I say, Cedric, can I see that? What I say, what's up? going on? Oh, his private that? part. Ripped up? Yeah, it was ripped up. And I say, what is going on? What happened to you? Uh, these tiles you be buying, they be too rough. Come on, you go, you can go. Really, you can go to Walmart and buy a soft towel for like 250 Have you found anything like perfume or glitter or anything like yes, that? Yes, he him? had glitter all upside his neck, all in his hair. Where's that from? What did he say? Oh, he said it, it must have come from something that I had. I don't wear glitter because glitter gets everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Now, has he ever come home smelling differently? Yeah, he have came home smelling funny. And we was talking one day, and he smelled it funny by the mouth. And, <laughs> and he said that it comes from smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Keep in mind, I smoke. But your mouth doesn't smell like that? No. What about money? That's the other thing. Do you think he's spending money somewhere where he shouldn't be? Yeah, because for the simple fact, he, he gives me the money for the take care of the household's expense. OK. OK, and he gets these spells where he, oh, I'm going to do it this month. I'm going to pay everything. I'm going to do take care of it. And then the money will come up missing. I'll be like, Cedric, what you do with it? Oh, I got gas. I got this. How you get gas? And I take you every day. Oh. When he's spending money. I know when he's spending it. You said he's admitted to cheating in the past. Right. What, just once? What, what was he? No, he, said, he stated that he have had sex four times. Four times. <laughs> what are you going to do? You've been together for 12 years. What if the lie detector test comes it, back and says it was more than four times? What, what then? What happened? If it's more than the times that he have admitted, I mean, I love him, but it's time for me to move on. I gave him 12 years of my life. <laughs> Cedric, apparently he admits to cheating in the past, but he says he's now a changed man and he's here to fight for his marriage. So everyone, please welcome Cedric. Yes, yes, so, hi Cedric. Hi. Doing, so Cedric, what is life like for you at the moment? I mean, uh, it's a little better than what it was, but it's still stressful to me because my wife, she's still the same way. How many times have you moved? Oh, uh, the last 12 years, like 15 to 16 times. And that's, you know, it's taking a toll on me. It's stressing me out, you know, yeah. mentally If you weren't sick. having sex and doing the other stuff that you don't need to be doing, then we'll have Look, money. We'll have always, what we need. So don't it. act like you I'm sending you to it. no poor house when you get it to me. How am I supposed to uh -uh. prove you that I'm not doing it? But I was she right in the past? She was right in the past. To the past, but I done stopped that. I'm not that guy anymore. When did you stop it? Ago. Like what? Four or five years if ago. If you love me, you wanna never did it. Four that don't mean years. anything. Yes, that, it does. That, it don't. Yes, it you does. can still love someone and cheat. It's the thing that you say at home. Uh, and... Let me ask you about this piece of uh, the thong in the car. It wasn't a thong. It was a piece of material, a piece of cloth. You know, probably about this big, and she just, you know, it's a thong. And That's the it. scratches you had. That's rough tiles. That's it. <laughs> When I told her that she didn't, I told you, you need to stop buying those towels. Those towels too rough. You're saying you you cheated in the past. Yes. And how many times did you cheat again? You said what? I Half really a dozen, just, six or seven about times. Six, yeah. You, about right. six, seven times. Right. I thought you thought it was four times. Let me tell you something, Miss Trisha. If this lie detector test come back that he is lying, he moving the sixteenth time by himself. Whoa! Whoa! So, Cedric, <laughs> you claim that you're a changed man, so I think it's time we find out if he's telling the truth or not. So help us all get right, the truth. Right. Sitting in our audience is Tim Acosta, our private investigator. Hey. 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 Are you ready? We asked you, did the black girls weave by your private parts belong to a woman you had any type of sexual contact with? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Cedric was being truthful. Yeah. 
We asked you, did the thong Jerrica found in your car come from a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. Tim? Up next. Did the thong Jerrica found in your car come from a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Cedric... And later, the lie detector could end a lifelong friendship. I'm a lie Slide. He gave you an STD. Okay. Today on Trisha. My wife Jerrica and I have been together for 12 years. I love Jerrica so much, I admitted to Jerrica that I had cheated in the past because I wanted our marriage to have a clean slate. She claimed that she found a piece of a woman's thong in my car. To me, it didn't even look like a piece of thong. It could have been a piece of a shirt, a piece of a pants, or anything. These accusations are tearing my marriage apart. I really love Jerrica. I want to be there with her and finish raising our kids. But if she can't stop, I don't know what I'm going to do. You're saying you, you cheated in the past. Yes. And how many times did you cheat again? You said, what, I half really a dozen, just, six or seven times? Six, yeah. You, About right. six, seven times. Right. Let me tell you something, Ms. Trisha. If this lie detector test come back that he is lying, he moving the 16th time by himself. Whoa. Whoa. We asked you, did the black girl's weave by your private parts belong to a woman you had any type of sexual contact with? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Cedric was being truthful. We asked you, did the thong Jerrica found in your car come from a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Cedric was being truthful. We ask you, <laughs> within the last four years, have you had any type of sexual contact with any of your neighbours? You said no. Four four. Last four years. You said no. Tim? And this is included whenever they weren't broken up, Tricia. So this is only when they were together? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Polygraph determined that Cedric was being truthful. <laughs> There's one more. <laughs> we asked you, in the last four years, have you had any type of sexual contact with another woman? This is not counting the breakup time. Yeah, all right, you said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Cedric was being truthful. <laughs> Listen, oh listen, you need some couple counselling. You need a way to sit down with your children and admit mummy and daddy have been wrong, mummy and daddy have had problems, but we, we're going to work together as a family to sort right. this out. Because you've got a lot of making up to do to those kids. I'm, I'm so sorry, right. baby. I'm sorry. Well, you both. Hello. We're going to check up. You can go see our counsellor now, and Cedric, in the future, we'll check up. And you better be doing that couple counselling. I am. Because yeah? I'm going to be on your case. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, and I'm yeah. going to be shaking my ass <laughs> in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Up next, the lie detector could end a lifelong friendship. During your relationship with Ray Ray, have you had sexual intercourse with Marissa? You said no. <laughs> He gave you an ST. Okay. Today on Trisha. When I was 13, I fell in love with my fiance DJ. I thought I found a perfect relationship. But as time went on, the man that I fell in love with completely changed. So I turned to my best friend of 10 years, Marissa, to help me get to the bottom of it. She took research too far. There's not a doubt in my mind that they are sleeping together. Let me put you on the first of all. is cheating on her with other absolutely, women. Absolutely, absolutely. DJ, the condom in the other bathroom that was in the toilet. It had to be another one of my own Panties in the car. I let my friend. Yeah. Also, also, let also, friend. also, it was my car. Let's
DJ's lie detector results. DJ, we asked you during your relationship with Ray Ray, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The polygraph determined that DJ was not being truthful. Yeah. Ha! Ha! You're dirty! Hang on, Jeremy! Hang on, Jeremy! Hang on, Jeremy! Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. That's a significant reaction for more than three women. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Wow! We asked you, DJ. Did you use the condom Ray Ray found under the dresser to have sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. Tim? Polygraph determined that DJ, again, was not being truthful. Oh! Wow! Really? Hell nah, man. No, he no. We truthful. asked you, like I said, are you more attracted to Marissa than you are to Ray Ray? Let's get this out there. You said no. Tim? DJ had to actually think about this question, Trisha, before he answered me. Really? The polygraph determined that DJ was not being truthful yeah. when he said that. Oh. So, so you attracted her? We asked you, no. hang on. No, 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 no. We no, asked no, you, no, during no, your relationship no. with Ray Ray, have you had sexual intercourse with Marissa? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that DJ was not being truthful. <laughs> probably trying to protect your friend but he comes on to you on a regular basis so he came to your door what did he do he knocked on the he door he came he came to me and he started asking me questions about Ray because she put him up we had a couple drinks did he come on to you that's exactly how it happened he came in what we happened? were talking so what we were talking nothing happened we did not have yeah, sex no but did he exactly. come on to you yes he came on to me did yes he, he kissed me uh, yes he touched me uh, yes that's what that's what happened he's gone First of all, you That's never right. said nothing. Oh, you ain't say we did nothing. Now you got caught. Now you wanna say, oh yeah, How we kissed her ass. <laughs> Listen, you should have been. You should have been said something. You should have been said something. You should have been said something. We did not have sex. It's because the man's got Listen, a very good point. If I was drinking and I'm driving, the cop put me over, was I drinking? No, but then you test me and I got a little alcohol. Well, I had one drink. No. <laughs> It wasn't nothing, of of nothing more than a kiss. It wasn't nothing more than a kiss. Oh, well, hang on. You have Just a minute. Just a minute. So, DJ, you took your sorry backside up to her front door, OK? Drink or no drink, you are the one who's in a relationship with the best friend. You, I do believe you've came on to her, oh. and I don't believe... And you know what? You've painted yourself into a corner because now, as my man said here, suddenly you're, oh, it was just a kiss. Before, it was like, I did nothing. I've never been near her. I didn't fancy her. I didn't like you, her. You asked me did I have intercourse with her. I said no. Oh, you... Uh, I said no. What do you want to do? Who the hell? I'm done. You just killed... You, you know what? You just killed your fortune cookie. The lady... Yeah. You just killed the booty cookie. I'm good. I'm good. Come here. Come here. Baby. Ray. Secret sex lies. We gave you an STD. Okay. That's next. Today on Trisha. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank Tim Acosta. Tim. Yeah. Tim. You should really come and join us here in the studio because we have the most amazing audiences. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah.